गेट रेडी फॉर द डिक्टेशन स्टार्ट लार्ज स्केल एक्विजिशन ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल एंड आबादी लैंड ऑफ फार्मर्स ऑफ डिफरेंट विलेजेस ऑफ ग्रेटर नोएडा एंड नोएडा ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक्ट गौतम बुद्ध नगर इन द नेम ऑफ प्लांट इंडस्ट्रियल डेवलपमेंट इज द सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ चैलेंज इन दीज फोर सेवेंटी वन रिट पिटिशंस दीज रिट पिटिशंस हैव बीन प्लेस्ड बिफोर दिस फुल बेंच अंडर ऑर्डर्स ऑफ ऑनेबल द चीफ जस्टिस डेटेड सिक्स एट टू थाउजेंड एलेवन ऑन ए रिफरेंस मेड बाय ए डिविजन बेंच इन रिट पिटिशन नंबर थ्री सेवन फोर फोर थ्री ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एलेवन एंड अदर कनेक्टेड मैटर्स रिट पिटिशन नंबर थ्री सेवन फोर फोर थ्री of 2011 challenges the notifications dated 12 3 issued under section 4 read with sections 17 1 and 17 4 of land acquisition act and notification dated 36 2008 by which declaration was made for acquisition of 589.188 hectares land of village patwari similar notifications under section 4 read with sections 17 1 17 and section 6 of the land acquisition act were issued with regard to different villages several writ petitions were filed challenging the land acquisition which writ petitions came for hearing before the division bench on 26 7 2011 one of the submissions made before the division bench was that the state had wrongly invoked the provisions of sections 171 and 174 of the land acquisition act here in after referred to as act and the right of objection under section 5a was wrongly dispensed with hence the entire acquisition proceedings deserved to be set aside the petitioners placed reliance on the division bench judgment of this court dated 19 7 passed in writ petition number 17068 of 2009 har karan singh versus state of up and others in which judgment the division bench of this court held that invocation of the provisions of sections 171 and 174 of the act was not justified and relying on the judgment of the apex court in Radhe Syam versus State of UP reported in 2011 five Supreme Court cases 533 of judgment of the Apex Court dated 6 7 in Greater Noida Industrial Development Authority versus Devendra Kumar reported in 2011 6 ADJ 480 quest the notification dated 12 3 and 36 2008 learned counsel for the state refuting the submissions of the learned counsel for the petitioners relied on another division bench judgment of this court dated 25 11 2008 in writ petition number 45777 of 2008 Harish Chand and others versus state of UP and others in which judgment invocation of section 171 and 174 was upheld and the writ petition was dismissed in which same notifications dated 12 3 and 36 2008 were under challenge faced with large number of writ petitions challenging the land acquisition by farmers of different villages of greater noida and noida and noticing two conflicting views expressed by two different division benches on the same notifications the division bench passed following order on 26 7 against this background prima facie we are of the view that a larger bench is required to be formed for the purpose of hearing these matters not only in respect of the village in question but also for all the acquisition matters in respect of the new okhla industrial development authority and greater noida industrial development authority for the ends of justice to reduce the fume 
and to avoid the multiplicity of the proceedings. In the same order dated 26-7-2011 to protect the interest of the petitioners, the division bench passed following order. However, petitioners will be protected with their rights in the following manner. Principle of list pendants will be applicable in these cases. Therefore, whatever steps will be taken by the respondents in the meantime, the same will abide by the result of the writ petitions. Willing petitioners may make applications to the state or the appropriate authority to consider their grievances and if it is made, the same will be considered carefully upon giving fullest opportunity of hearing to them if necessary with the assistance of the pleader by 12th August 2011 and a report to the extent will be placed before the court along with the records of all the acquisition cases on the next date of hearing that is on 17th August 2011. Applications, if any, for such settlement out of the court are totally optional on the part of the petitioners. Rights, if any, of the unwilling petitioners under Section 11A of the Act will not be infringed. Stop.